Welcome to the Plant Structure and Function Part 1 video lesson. In this lesson, we'll be discussing the types of tissues that plants have. We'll discuss the process of transpiration. We'll also briefly discuss how sugar is transported in plants. And then we'll begin to look at the structure and functions of plant structures with the discussion of roots. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's start with the types of tissues that exist in plants. And we start with the marismatic tissue. This tissue is actively growing and it is in root and stem tips, including the cambium, what is called the cambium. Some of these terms will be uh, new terms to you and you'll see them again as we label diagrams and structures, etc. We have protective tissues in plants that are epidermis, the cuticle uh, on the leaves and stem, for example, and bark would also be a protective tissue. We have vascular tissue. We have xylem, and you'll learn what xylem is uh, responsible for transporting. We have phloem, which you'll re learn uh, what that's responsible for transporting as well. And then we have uh, three fundamental tissues. We have the parenchyma, which is the unspecialized, uh, which are unspecialized, and they're responsible for food production and storage. We have the colenchyma, which is the support of herbaceous stems. And we have the sclerenchyma, which is the fibrous tissue between the xylem tubes in wood. All right, so these are all different types of tissues that you'll see labeled in different structures of plants. All right, next let's talk about the process of transpiration. We learned about transpiration earlier this year when we talked about the water cycle. Transpiration is the water loss through the stomates of plants. Uh, transpiration is impressive. It can move 36 gallons a day in a large tree under dry, hot conditions. Wait till you hear in a later video how much water is moved in an acre of corn. Very impressive. Transpiration gets rid of excess water. It can move dissolved nutrients through plant, through the plant. It can also, in the process, cool the leaves. Transpiration takes place by the cohesive uh, pull of water. You remember, might remember that cohesion is a characteristic of water uh, that's attracted to uh, itself. And water is moved by cohesion through the process of transpiration pull up through the plant. And it's controlled by the opening and closing of what are called stomates. Stomates are structures that tend to be on the um, uh, lower epidermis, the bottom of most leaves. So that's how water moves through a plant by the process of transpiration. What about uh, food for the plant? Well, sugar is transported in plants by a combination of active transport, active transport and the negative pressure flow in the phloem. This will be discussed later um, in a video as well. All right, next let's take a look at our first plant structure. And we'll start off with going from the bottom of the plant all the way up to the top. And our first one, of course, then would be roots. Roots provide uh, plants with an anchor, so they are responsible for anchorage. They are the responsible for the absorption of minerals, absorption of water, and roots can also store starch. So they store food in the form of starch. There are three different types of roots. Um, there are tap roots, and a common example of this would be the dandelion in your yard. Fibrous roots, Grass would be a good example of this, a plant that has fibrous roots. And evidentious roots, like mangroves, strangler figs, 
probably most common around here would be IV. Uh, roots contain xylem and phloem for the transport of water and sugar respectively. So that means that xylem is responsible for the transport of water and phloem is responsible for the transport of sugar. All right, next let's take a look at, at a root diagram and label its various structures. We'll start off with the zone of cell differentiation, which is this part of the root itself. Then there's the zone of cell elongation, kind of this part right here. The zone of cell division and the root cap. Okay. This structure, which is yellow on the outside here, is the epidermis of the root. These little hairs that stick out are root hairs, and they function to increase the surface area for mineral and water absorption. The cortex would be this region inside the root. And the other structures here that are pre-labeled for you, um, we don't uh, hear them in this course used as much, but the ones that you did label you should know. And lastly, we have our three examples of root types. Here we have our tap root. We mentioned that the dandelion was a good example of this. Here we have our fibrous root, and our grass was mentioned as a good example of this. And you may recognize this as the ivy. Uh, so this would be your example of your avenditious root. All right, that'll do it for our introduction to part one of plant structure and function. Let's take a look at the beginning um, of a video here, which will expand on both of all the concepts that we've talked about so far in this video.